Good evening, esteemed television watchers. Next one news information program is on air. Let's take a look at the chronology of the last week. On January 18, plenipotential representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Fuad Nejafli, received a delegation led by Selçuk Demir, the chairman of the board of directors of Zirayat Bank, Azerbaijan Open Joint Stock Company. On January 20, the 34th anniversary of the January 20 tragedy was commemorated in Nakhchivan. More details in our official news blog. On the 18th of January, Fuad Najafli, the plenipotentiary representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, received the delegation supervised by Selçuk Demir, the chief executive officer of Zirat Bank Azerbaijan Open Joint Stock Company. It was reported that the purpose of establishing a new branch in Nakhchivan is to provide quality and prompt banking services to local entrepreneurs and investors. A wide range of banking services will be offered to both legal entities and individuals. At the meeting, the prospects of ensuring more accessibility of business loans for entrepreneurs of Nakhchivan, especially businessmen operating in the construction sector, were discussed. Consulate General of Turkey in Nakhchivan, Asip Kaya, participated in the meeting. On the 20th of January, Fad Najafli, the plenipotentiary representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in the Autonomous Republic of Nakhchivan, state and government representatives, members of the Nakhchivan Veterans Public Union and hundreds of residents visited Alley of Matters in Nakhchivan City and paid tribute to the victims and matters on the 34th anniversary of Bloody January tragedy. Preliminarily, the national anthem of the Republic of Azerbaijan was played. Then, the plenipotentiary representative, state and government officials visited the graves of the matters and led fresh carnations on each of them. The plenipotentiary representative met with the family members of the matters and expressed his deep respect. The officials visited the mother monument in the alley and led flowers in memory of the matters of the brother Turkish army who fought for Nakhchivan in the conflicts against the Armenian Tashnaks in 1918-1920. We continue. Members and volunteers of Nakhchivan Veterans Public Union marched to the Alley of Mates to commemorate the Mates of January 20. Also last week, a delegation led by Rector of Hacettepe University, Professor Mehmet Jahid Gura, visited Nakhchivan. A cartridge was found at the Sederek Customs Post of Nakhchivan General Customs Department. At 12 o'clock on January 20, national flags were made to be flown at half-staff in all parts of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, as in the whole territory of Azerbaijan. The January 20 matters were commemorated with a minute of silence, as well as all the traffic halted. Members and volunteers of Nakhchivan Veterans Public Union marched to the Alley of Matters to pay tribute to the January 20 matters. At the end of the procession, matters graves were visited and carnations were led. The veterans expressed their support and were together with the families of our heroes who fought for the freedom of our motherland. Central Election Commission of the Republic of Azerbaijan and Media Development Agency held an educational seminar for journalists employed in Nakhchivan through the Zoom online platform regarding the presidential elections. The online seminar was organized on the topic of role and duties of media in the presidential elections in order to increase the awareness of media representatives in the presidential elections and further increase the effectiveness of their activities. Representatives of the Central Election Commission and heads of the media institutions of the Autonomous Republic, as well as journalists who will cover the election process, all participated in the seminar.
From January 17, trainings for the members of precinct election commissions are being held twice a day in all constituencies across the country. In the conducted trainings, detailed information is given about the Territorial Election Commission's roles and duties defined by legislation and various questions are expressed. International observers visited constituencies operating in the territory of the Autonomous Republic and got accounted with the progress of preparations for the upcoming elections. Our staff asked about the opinion of the representative of the OEC, Democratic Institutions and Human Rights on the current situation. My name is Chris Barber. Um, I am from the United States of America. I am here on behalf of the OSCE ODIR as a long-term observer here in Nakhchivan, observing the uh, early presidential elections that are that are ongoing. You know, we, we are visiting a, a diverse set of stakeholders uh, who are involved in the election process. So uh, this can include uh, you know, political parties, non-governmental organizations, uh, voters um, and of course the constituency election commissions and the precinct election commissions. Um, you know we have observed preparations up to this point and of course you, you know that the precinct election commissions are getting set up and having materials delivered to them. Uh, we have spoken with the uh, chairman and some of the commission members from the constituencies and you know, they, they are of course uh, in, right in the middle of preparations and so um, you know, that's, that's about all I can see right now. Nakhchivan University held an info session for young students who will vote for the first time in the early presidential elections. Information was given about the right to vote at the event. A new Council General of the Islamic Republic of Iran has been appointed to the Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic. Council General Aziz Mansuri visited the Hyderabad Museum and Matters Alley in the Nakhchivan today. Azerbaijan Republic Minister of Digital Development and Transportation Rashad Nabiyev met with the residents in Nakhchivan. During the reception, approximately 30 citizens had their inquiries related to communication, post services, internet, telecommunications and transportation properly recorded and addressed in the accordance with legal requirements, including job applications. The 15-day longly 100 years usually a Shah humanitarian medical campaign dedicated to the 100th anniversary of the National Autonomous Republic and the Minister of the Health of the Autonomous Republic has been launched. The campaign involving 184 healthcare workers and 16 ambulances covers all regions of the Autonomous Republic. On January 15, as a part of the relevant exchange program, the first group of the 15 nurses from the Nakhchivan was sent to Gaz University in Turkey for a six weeks training. A meeting was held with the staff who will participate in the training at the Minister of Health. Nakhchivan Veterans Public Association, which has started an activity in Nakhchivan, has been cooperating with Nakhchivan Teleradio since the first day of its activity. Union representatives visited our television on January 16 and had a friendly meeting with the collective. During the meeting, two employees of the Nakhchivan Television were presented with honorary degrees of the union for their effective activities in the events held by the Nakhchivan Veterans Public Association. In Sharu, the youth met with family members of the Awa Matris, Captain Azad Zeynolov, Lieutenant Agil Ismailov, Zulal Madatli and Murat Khalili, and received information about the heroic deeds of Awa Matris. The participants got acquainted with the community plaques of Awa Matris, the orders and medals awarded to them. Family members shared their memories of their heroic children. The members of the families of the matrix thank for the attention and care shown and said that they are proud of their children also had a share in the victory.
The first resettlement of this year to the liberated areas has begun. The first resettlement from Gobu Park the Third, built for internally displaced people in the Lochbatan settlement of Baku Garadak district, is to the reconstructed city of Fizuli. Today, another 30 families totaling 127 individuals have set out for Fizuli. Thus, the number of the resettlement families to Fizuli will reach 410, comprising 1,519 individuals. The Baku office of Nakhchuan Television broadcasted a report about it. The delegation led by Professor Mehmet Jahid Gura, rector of Turkey's Hacettepe University, visited Nakhchivan. Within the framework of the visit, the delegation visited a number of medical institutions in Nakhchivan city and met with the first Deputy Minister of Health of Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, Acting Minister Samik Sadiko. An agreement was reached on cooperation in a number of directions. Continuous work in the direction of full, timely and quality provision of the demand for radiological services in the autonomous republic. Taking into account the increased demand, new compound tomography equipment was put into use in Shahbuz District Central Hospital. The CT device at the Central Hospital of Nekchivan Autonomous Republic has been made ready for service again after repair. Maryam Karimli, a resident of Nakhchivan, gave birth to triplets. One of the babies was born naturally, and the other two were born by C-section operation. Note that two of the triplets are girls and one is a boy. The condition of the babies is moderately stable. At the Sadarak Customs Post of Nakhchivan General Customs Department, a cargo vehicle transitioned through the territory of the Republic of Azerbaijan from the Republic of Turkey to the Islamic Republic of Iran was subjected to inspection on a stationary X-ray device. Due to the observation of suspicious images on the civilian's monitor, during the fundamental inspection of the cargo vehicle, hunting weapons were found in various parts of the cabin. 250 cartridges were found. The act is being investigated. We continue with cultural news. On the occasion of the anniversary of the January 20 tragedy, an event was held at Nakhchivan University and a film from Sederek to Shusha, prepared by Nakhchivan Television, was demonstrated. The premiere of the play, The Impostures of Scapin, was held in Nakhchivan Theatre. On the occasion of the anniversary of the January 20 tragedy, an event was held at Nakhchivan University and the film from Sederek to Shusha, prepared by Nakhchivan Television, was demonstrated. At the film, the heroism of our people in the Sederek battles is presented in the image of a brave woman, veteran and nurse Nazifa Gaibaliyeva. On January 13, the premiere of the play The Impostures of Scapin, based on the work of the same name by the French playwright Molière, was held at the Nakhchivan State National Drama Theatre named after Jalil Memegulazadeh. The performance was watched by Samir Seyyid Ahmedli, deputy representative of the President of the Republic of Azerbaijan in Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic, employees of the representative office, other officials and public representatives. The play, which attracted great interest with its thought-provoking and comic scenes, was greeted with applause by the audience. Isim Television Watchers, that was all for today. Hoping to be together next Monday at the same time. Thanks for being with us. Goodbye.